In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a horizontal timeline in Elementor and elevate it by connecting it with a background slider and a content carousel for a more engaging design. Let's get started. First, make sure the Unlimited Elements Pro version is installed and activated on your WordPress site. Then head over to Unlimited Elements, Widgets, and use the search bar to find Horizontal Timeline. Hover over it and click Install to add the widget to your site. Next, go to the page you want to edit and drag and drop the Horizontal Timeline widget from the Widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. This widget supports dynamic data, including posts, Woo products, ACF repeater fields, JSON or CSV files, terms, users, menu items, and more. For our purpose, we'll use static data and leverage the items repeater to add our content. In the general settings, enable autoplay for the timeline if needed. Turn on the loop option for seamless scrolling. Pause autoplay when hovering over the timeline. Set how many items to display in the timeline. Adjust the autoplay timeout and transition speed accordingly. Enter the desired text for the button. Limit how many characters to show in the intro. Select the stage padding type that best suits your layout. Enable center alignment for the timeline. Enable the RTL, right to left option if your layout requires it. Choose to open links in the same or new tab. Select the size of timeline item images according to your layout. In the layout options, show or hide the arrows, navigation dots, and label on the timeline. Display the date either before the icon or after the icon. Show or hide the time ago element on the timeline. Show or hide the title, description, and button on the timeline. Select the bullet type as either an icon or an index. Choose an icon to display. Similarly, show or hide the content, pointer, and vertical line according to your layout. In the connected widget settings, enable the connect remote control widgets option if you plan to add remote controls later. This allows the remote widgets to control the timeline. In this section, you can also sync the widget to other item-based widgets. Let's add the content for each item. Enter the text for the title. Then, choose an icon to display. Choose an image you want to display. Select the date for the timeline item. Type text for description. Type or paste the URL to link with the timeline item. We can also override the colors, such as the background color, title color, bullet color, and more if needed. Now, let's quickly add the necessary content for the remaining timeline items. Now, let's add the content carousel widget and add the desired content. Also, adjust its layout according to your design. Ensure the number of content items matches the number of items in the timeline widget. Also, use the same connected widget settings as those in the timeline widget. Optionally, we can add remote control widgets to make unique layouts, add the remote arrows widget to the page, set it to auto-detectable, and it will automatically connect with the horizontal timeline. Finally, to complete the design, let's add a background slider and sync it with the timeline. Ensure the number of slider items matches the number of items in the timeline widget. Once you've added all the content, you can start configuring the widget style settings to match your design needs. Adjust the bullet size, colors, typography, background overlay, content carousel style, and more to ensure the horizontal timeline widget seamlessly integrates with your website's design. To wrap up the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. Start using unlimited elements and give your Elementor website superpowers. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.